All right, Robert, just go ahead and select the card here. Okay. okay. All right, guys, let's say we're going to show you guys a pretty cool trick. Uh, so what is the card? It is the Four of Hearts. And again, you could have selected any card. It doesn't matter what the card is. But Robert, why don't you go ahead and put it back in. Okay. Put it back in. And check this out. We'll get it lost into the pack. Okay? okay. And you can see it is completely lost. You know, there's nothing fishy. Um, it is completely gone from the pack. Just like that. No slights. I'm going to take the pack, close it up, square it up. Ch check this out. Okay, check this out. Snap the finger. Spread the deck out. And you can see one card is immediately looking different. Do you see that? Yeah. One card. I'm not going to move it. I'm going to keep it in plain view this entire time. One card and one card only. Now, for the first time, well, actually, I already saw the card. What was the card again? Four of hearts. The four of hearts. The only green card in the pack. But now, you know, we, we don't just want one green card out of a pack of, you know, 52 white cards. So check this out. We actually just give it a little bend. Just like that. We can turn this one into white as well. So that is the trick. And uh, let's get straight into the tutorial. Um, yeah. All right, guys. It's time for the tutorial. Adam, let's get right to it. All right, guys, so this is a very powerful effect. Um, I really enjoy performing this one. Um, now, it is going to be a trick that really doesn't involve too many slights, so I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. However, you will need one thing, and one thing only, and that is a double backer. But this is not just any double backer. The back has to be a different color, okay? Now, unfortunately, for this video, we actually don't have a double backer. Um, with two different colors. So what we did here was we took two jokers and we actually put double stick tape together. Um, now, we didn't actually use a lot of double sided tape. I recommend you guys, if you're going to actually do this with double sided tape for some reason, um, make sure you get it so the corners are actually taped down. Because we are just doing this on camera, I didn't, you know, it wasn't really that big of a deal. But uh, if you definitely, if you don't have one of these, make sure you go get one or use some double sided tape and make sure, you know, the flaps don't open up. Okay? But. Once you're ready, uh, just come back and we're good to go. So what you're going to do here is you're going to want two colors that you know that don't blend in. So if you're, if you're going to use two dark colors, the effect isn't as powerful. Uh, so what I have here is a white deck as well as a green card, a dark green as well. So that, you know, the contrast of those two colors is, you know, pretty obvious. So what you're going to do here is the entire setup is just taking the double backer and putting it on the bottom. But you have to remember the opposite color is going to be facing up in your orientation uh so it would be like that right from here what you're going to do is you're going to ask them to select a card now let's say you know they're um they're let's say you know they don't just take a card like a normal person from the middle okay let's say they're going for the bottom card for some reason which clearly they cannot select what you can do here is as you fan and spread the deck out you can actually call the card where you're actually just pulling it down like this okay and as you're spreading the deck now, the de now the cards up here, uh, you can actually they can actually go ahead and take the bottom card if they so pleased. And now the bottom card is still there. Okay, so if you you, know, you only do that if they're actually reaching for it. Okay, uh, where you can call the card, but you know you really shouldn't have to do that too often. Um, but once you're in that position, go ahead. You know they select the card. Perfect. Ace of diamonds. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to swing cut part of the deck. Okay leaving this card right here. And what you actually need to do is a move where you push the card over. So Robert's gonna show you guys this move from your perspective. So there are the cards on the bottom there. Oh, it's right here? From that perspective. Oh, uh, my bad. Okay, so let me get around here. All right, so here's what the move is. So when they selected their card, you're just gonna take about half the deck, you're gonna swing it to the other hand, and you have your gimmick card right here. Now, this move, it's not too hard, all right? But you will want to practice this. So you get their card back. You're going to say, we're going to give it one last look, right? When you come over for this last turnover, right, you're turning it over with the deck. With these fingers, you're going to push this bottom card over just a little bit. So you're in this position, right? You're flipping over the card, right? With these fingers, you're going to push this bottom card over so it's out jog. So you're going here, right? You're just like that. Now what I did was, is you, you can actually see it right there. I just simply pushed the card out like that. And they can't see it because I'm hiding it with this hand. And yeah, that's the move. So one more time, you're here, right? While you flip this over with 
these fingers, you're going to out jog this card right here. And from here, you can just simply grab the deck like that and Adam will continue from there. Right, so now that you have, once you have, you know, your setup here where you basically have your double back or out jogged just like that and you're covering it with your fingers, what you're going to do is you're gonna simply say, okay, we're gonna lose your card in, right? Flip it back over, you do the move. You're gonna set it on top, okay? Just like that, okay? Now from here, you can immediately go into a spread, but you don't have to, you could talk a little bit. Um, oftentimes, a little break will be left, so maybe you do wanna immediately spread. But I like to just say, you know, we're gonna get it lost. Okay, and I do that as I spread the deck. Now, what happens is when you have that out jogged card and you put the you know the packets together and you spread, the card is actually, you know, it appears to be lost, but in reality it's it's just under the deck. Okay? So when you spread it like that, it's lost. You can put it back together and when you spread it one last time, it'll actually reveal. So let me do that. Let me do that one more time here. So once you're you know you have this card on the bottom basically, okay? You're in that position here, okay? And you get the card out jogged with these fingers, okay? And all that is is just pushing the card over just so you can get it to look um, just like that. Basically, that's all that's happening. Um, you know, it's not going to be as neat as that. Um, if you guys cannot do that move, what you can do is you can actually separate the deck, uh, the packets here, and you can actually set this up like I just showed you right there where I just literally took it and pushed it over. While they're looking at their card. Right, while they're looking at their card. And you can actually have them sign the card if you wanted to. And, you know, as you cover it, what happens is you're going to take the packets and you're going to set them on top of each other. So what you have here is this kind of scenario right here where you have the card out jogged like that. And from there, once again, with covering, you're going to spread. And as you spread, the card appears to disappear, right? And they can look at it, you know, they're not going to see anything. And this literally is no slight at all. You just push the packet together and you spread it one more time. And just like that, one card will reveal. Now, all you have to do here, their card is right underneath. You're going to take it and you're going to bring that to the top. And all you need to do is now get a double lift. So once you get the double lift, you can reveal their card. Now, the cool thing is about having this double backer here is you can show that that's their card, right? It is their card. And not only that, you can set it down, but now the double backer actually just turned over and you can actually spread the deck and say there's no more green card, basically, is what's happening because they still think that their card's green. But not only that, you can actually say, we'll change it right back to white and that's that's a pretty cool effect and you know of course you're not completely left clean because you have this here but you know you can immediately get into another trick or you can palm, palm it off, off yeah. if you wanted to and uh, really get into another trick but this is a very powerful effect and you can pour you know perform this in different ways you know it doesn't just have to be a spread every time you can mix this up and use this kind of fundamental idea and uh, expand upon it but anyway guys that is the trick thank you guys so much for watching and this is card show for 99 peace out